In this video, we will analyze why those up and down swings happen in the market and see how the supply demand works. Towards the end of the video, we will also talk about how to save ourselves from those unwanted moves and making losses and to see how keep on making profits. This is Million Prof. Learn to Invest. I strongly believe in sharing the knowledge I gained after spending over 25 years of trading and a lot of money. If you want to be connected in this journey of sharing and caring and learning together, don't forget to subscribe. Let's talk about options. Let's say you've gone to this auction place where they are trying to sell this beautiful picture. The starting price is set as 1 lakh. So the first person says 1.5 lakh. Second person says 2 lakhs. Third person says 2.2 lakhs. And then you raise your hand and say 3 lakhs. And then there is no more bidder available. So what happens? Option goes to you. You get to buy that option. In this particular place, everyone wanted to get the best deal possible, the lowest price possible. Option has gone to the highest bidder. Is he the richest person? No, he is the most desperate. Please remember, the most desperate person has got this option. Let's talk about the car dealership. You have this car dealer. He does not have one car to sell. He has got many cars to sell and then many buyers to buy these cars. What happens? The price is usually fixed by this car dealer, but then based on the supply and demand, based on the demand mostly, he reduces the price by giving discounts. Stock market. In stock market, if you really look at it, you have got many buyers and got many suppliers, many sellers, and then you have got many things to be sold. You have got lots of stocks, you have got lots of futures, lots of options. This is the real classic case of supply demand, where you have got lots of things to be sold to lots of buyers by lots of sellers. Let's now talk about the stock market. You have got bidders and you have got sellers or offers. Here, you have got two buyers, 500 stocks at 10 and two sellers, 1000 stocks at 20. Is there any buyer who is willing to buy at the price that seller wants to sell? No. And there is no seller who wants to sell at the price buyer is willing to pay. Can a trade happen here? No, a trade cannot happen here. Right? If the trade cannot happen because nobody is willing to adjust. Now, what happens after a little while? Looking at these bids and offers, one seller emerges to sell at 15 and one buyer emerges to buy at 15. Now looking at this number, 200 shares will get transacted at 15. What happens? Now the value is established for this particular stock to be at 15. Now looking at this value, everyone is going to be willing to adjust with this value. But still there is one sale order at 15. So sellers are ready to come down. Buyers will think they need to go up because this 15 order is there because the established value is 15 again. Established value of 15 is the most important thing here. Now with this new basis of value, all bids and offers will start getting balanced. But they, also, they always want the best price, but their best price now is 15. Markets now will start behaving based on the supply demand theories. More supply, less prices, more demand, higher prices. The desperate buyers are willing to pay premium to buy anything. Desperate sellers are willing to sell at the market price. Now, how, how do defensive players look at it? Defensive buyers want the bargain. Def defensive sellers want the higher prices. These, all these things, all the de demand supply theories, you would see it until one point until there is a large player now let's say here in this particular market a large player or a mutual fund start taking interest let's see how they are going to tweak the story the game of the market let's say this large player wants to buy 25000 quantity these large players actually buy much more than that let's say 25000 and if he has to put in a market order you know what price he will get everything at it's almost more than 23 rupees when 15 rupees is this fair value does he really really want to buy it at that level buyers want the lowest prices possible how does he get the sellers to sell at those lower prices yes there is one way one way
way is to put in a 15 rupees order and keep waiting only when the sellers come in and they sell take it but is he ready to wait no then what they do they do all these uh, three different things first stop loss lending second fake breakdowns third put bad news in the market let's start looking at one by one stop loss hunting these guys know where your stop losses are major below major support points uh, under 20 ma's 50 ma's under day low week low month low so what they do instead of selling uh, instead of buying they sell they get your stop losses hit and when your stop losses hit who is going to buy they they will buy at those very levels and then slowly slowly they will build their portfolio second one they know what makes you sell they know ma's macd standard indicators what you guys take as a sell signal so they what they again do they do sell they get these indicators to get into the sell side when you are selling they are buying very very happily now they need to do it very very slow without letting anyone know and only volume will be able to tell you what really is happening we will talk about volume maybe in the uh, next recording the third one putting bad news in the market all said and done it is illegal thing to do it and i do not have any evidences but i know that there is one legal way of doing it is going through fno so they can always get the fno indicators oi analysis and all these things to come into negative sell side and when people sell they would buy you would have known a lot of things they first sell in fno and then they buy in the uh, real uh, stock market so all these things happen and believe me there are more tricks that these guys use they keep on coming innovating things that's what they get paid for what happens to the retailers now your retailers they are really really sad their sl is getting hit all the time they are having their indicators not working the right they are having the negative equity curve all i mean they are doing all these things for helping the large players but if you want to be on the other side if you want your equity curve to go up if you want success in the stock market keep these in mind this is a bonus from me first don't simply trade supply demand it works only when there is no manipulation remember this avoid illiquid stocks they can be manipulated very fast be aware that fake breakdowns breakouts happen avoid using standard indicators with the standard setup have confirmation indicators use volume volume is the most important thing to know what these large players are doing and then don't blame your stock broker it is not your stock broker who is looking at your orders you are too small for that if you want to know what happens to the volume how is the volume played uh, keep uh, subscribe to this channel i'm getting you a volume video in less than uh, one week from now enjoy till then cheers bye